like the marine fragrance that has a hint of the spiciness and you know the tea note. And this is a perfume that I can recommend for, for the, anybody who likes a hint of the spiciness in the marine fragrance. And that is longer than Marvay by Hermes. And I strongly recommend you to try them uh, if you want to have something that is non generic in the collection. And another one is the Verdu Assam of India. It's kind of the freshy uh, that I like, and um, if I can compare it with something that is on the today's market, that's Mason Francisco John Pit Matin, probably. It has that similar vibe of the cleanliness, freshy, uh, you know, freshness uh, of the inside. You can easily wear them, no matter if the men or women wears this fragrance. Uh, this is the Concentré Orange Wear by Hermès. And, uh, I like it a bit more than original because of the longevity. And for the, if you like bitter perfumes and if you like bitterness of and the greenness and green perfumes uh, to wear in the summer, I can recommend you to try it uh, and <coughs> or blind buy uh, because when you buy Hermes, there's no no bad thing because they are not sweet or they they didn't used to be sweet before the crystal gel came into the instead of the Jean Claude Lena and they switched. Another one is Un Jardin sur le Croix. I came back to, to try it again. There's no clashing uh, of, of the notes inside and you can easily wear it during the, the summer season. And what I like about it is the apple pear combo here. Here's the Mitsuko for the toilet uh, uh, as a reminder of the Leur Bleu. Because Eugene recommend me these two guys uh, just to know and to understand how it smells the heritage of the fragrances from the first two decades of the 20th century. And even if it, uh, it has a more retro vibe, I appreciate and I appreciate for the, uh, the quality and originality and for that cheaper, just understand of the fragrance journey, how it changed during the decades. The fragrance that I haven't talked uh, a lot. Bellamy Vetiver. There is not so much perfumes uh, for the price that are made with such, with such a craftsmanship and the quality like the uh, Bellamy Vetiver. I can easily put it into the Hermes on the fly without any hesitation. I think it's one of the best things uh, that I have in my collection and one of the best things created in 21st century in perfumery. Here there's Fico di Amalfi, mm -hmm. having it for more than two years, maybe three years. Um, still like it, uh, have no problem with to wear it during the winter time, just to remind me an Italian climate, Amalfi Coast or the during the light of the Garda. It still resonates me uh, with me and uh, even if my girl says that doesn't like the, the sweaty uh, cord there. Uh, yeah, I can understand where's the how she how she smells it, uh, but I have no problem to, to spray it on myself in any season, and and I like wearing it. Also, the near to the Panaria as well as a, as a second stop from the Blue Mediterranean. Forty-seven eleven. I put from the. myself daily uh, while driving along the roads and here uh, it reminds me a crossover between the Prada iris notes and the, the Valentino iris notes and it, it's, it's, it's like the laundry uh, the iris combo For the price is is a banger. Uh, I don't know if you can find something uh, with that quality, even if it has not super long longevity here. 
I have no problem refreshing myself after two hours or three hours. Very pleasant. It, um, it has that violet inside of it, like violet iris kind of and it's definitely not yellow flowery thing like Mitsuko or something. This is a modern and easy, easy, easily wearable thing for the men or females, doesn't matter. It, and it's completely unisex things and for the price is one of the best things. And it's German company, it's 47 in level, and I like that aqua colonial line. A lot. I have maybe more than four fragrances from that line. So thank you.